Somewhere else we can let you 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 you let 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 you let
I see people stranded. They don't know where to sit. Hallelujah. Please help them. Please help them. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't want to see people behind. It's not good to say this online. But now I'm forced to do so. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Akikisha haujeka kiti mbele yako aina mtu. Amen. Tujaze hizo viti ambazo ndio wale wanaingia wasipate hakuna kiti. Amen. Amen. Kaa uko nyuma. Amen. Pigia makopi wanaposikiza. Amen. Mkristo mzuri ni mwenye ako na masikio amebarikiwa na kusikia. Amen. So mnipigia makofi juu nimekuwa asha na same time pastor. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God all the glory. Amen. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? leo watu wangu walienda wapi amen we have couples dinner next sunday amen hallelujah and it's going to be amazing we have great man of god reverend simon mtinda a very great man of god amen listen to me if you are a couple you cannot miss this one amen hallelujah because i chose not to teach you on that day i said i will sit down nitakachi ni why because i need somebody mwenye ame huyo huyo mzee Amen. Panesi wasifiwe. Au chochoka kuja watu wakikuambia shida za ndoa zao. Amen. Walete waulize maswali na wafunzwe. Panesi wasifiwe. Hata kama mzee ako nyumbani kuja. Amen. Haleluya. Hata kama bibi nyumbani kuja. Panesi wasifiwe. Hata kama mliachana na bibi kuja. Ndio ujue nini ilifanya muachane. Panesi wasifiwe. Haleluya. So pigie bwana makofi mazuri. Also we are giving opportunities unajua mtu una date ye na una because listen to me you can do nothing without the help of the holy ghost nisikize ndio maana wakati Yesu alikuwa na paju anawaambia tari in Jerusalem until you receive power from high because alijua ah watu bila roho mtakatifu hawezi ubiri oh but it was if kaniza bwana asifiwe Utajaribu kufanya vitu vina kataa maana shida ni moja unajiongoza Fusa roho Akenda Galilaya Habari sikiza ya kwanza tumesoma Matthew in the book of Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 inasema kwa akaongozwa na roho wapi sikiza na hapo tunaambiwa Yesu akarudi kwa nguvu za roho asante sana hii Kiswahili ina kamzuri pia amen tuko na Kiswahili kwa kompyuta amen sisi ni wakali amen so wapigie makofi amen sasa mmesaidika sasa vero usiwe na wasiwasi amen Yesu akarudi kwa nguvu za roho akaendea Galilaya habari zake zikaenea katika nchi zote za kando kando aya ya 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 wakati roho alikuwa amemjaa aliposhuka kwa nguvu wa roho habari zake zikaenea 
Ha. The reason why you are doing business and nobody knows what you are doing, there is no Holy Ghost. advertisement. Katika anga ya kiro, kenye nafanyanga watu advertisement yao ni ro. What can advise you is the Holy Ghost. It will advertise you. Holy Ghost will advertise you. Ata mahali wewe ujulikani. It is the Holy Ghost that advertise men. Holy Spirit. Alipotoka kwa ngufu. Abarizikaenea kote. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ambe mwenzako lazima nienee. Kwa nguvu za roho. Ambe mwenzako kwa nguvu za roho. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. The book of Luke chapter 24 verse 49. Luke 24 verse 49. Are you there? Uh-huh. Akasema, I am going to send you what my father has done what has promised but stay where in the city until you have been clothed with what power from where on high stay in the city stay in the city ask your neighbor where do you want to go Natazama na waletea juu yenu ahadi ya baba yangu lakini kaeni humu mjini hadi mvikiwe uwezo utokao juu Kaanza bwana asifiwe Every journey to become must start here You must stand and stay there in the city and Until you are clothed by the Holy Ghost. Mbaka upate roho mtakatifu. You need to stay there. You want to start building your house? Stay there until you are clothed with the Holy Ghost. You want to start your marriage? Stay somewhere. Kama ali chifungia mahali siku mbili siku tatu pray until you are clothed with power. When you come out, ah, unaposhuka pale hivi sasa wana wana nguvu za Mungu. Haleluya. Bwana Yesu asifiwe na unaenea. Chiweke mahali watu wengi hawataki. Haleluya, wanataka faster faster. Haleluya. Haleluya. Mimi najua na wafunza msinitegemee, mtegemee nani? Maana Biblia inasema anayemtegemea mwanadamu afanye nini? Amelaaniwa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <laughs> Kaniza bwana asifiwe. I don't want to give you fish. I want to Robert kuna mafuta zimebaki. Aya ya ya ya, bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu wanataka kuwa haraka haraka. Kwa hivyo wanakimbilia mafuta iko wapi? Anataka kitu inatau ganga ukanga. Amwage 1 2 3 4 5. Sasa anasema kila kitu am protected. Hakuna mtu anataka kuwa kwa process. Maana yake hii ya Mungu lazima ujifungie mahali upokee nguvu. Akuambie endanger your da- done what is a he has done what he has anointed what has anointed you the spirit of the lord so you are not anointed by oil you are anointed by the spirit ah malopredia the spirit of the sovereign lord is on 
me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim. People are anointed by the Spirit. So when that oil has no Spirit of God, it's just oil. It's a cooking oil. Can someone ask if you Unajipaka, unashine tu. Kitoka inyo na kuambia, eh, sujipakuza kidogo, umejipaka kama mshamba. Can someone ask if you Hallelujah. Asini vizuri kufunza watu kiru. Wana isu ask if Praise God. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me. So the Spirit of God, when it is not in that oil, that oil is null and void. Can someone ask if you? We are anointed by the Spirit. I can use this water and anoint you. It becomes an anointing oil. Mungu <laughs> ila tu roho wake ambaye anachunguza mpaka mambo ya chini ya Mungu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So be what you want to become. When you have the Holy Ghost, he goes ahead. He knows what you need. Number 2. He is our helper. He is what? Number one is the mind of God. Number two, he is what? Our helper. He is the mind of God. He is, number two, our helper. Muitana sweetie sweetie. Where is he, guys? Now, when I dad I come, I tell you, to join Muita sweetie. Oh, that any muches? Man, it's was easy. See muches? Hey, what? Sister, I got to tell you, we must come. Come, like you do, we must come. Come, Hallelujah. Hey, we must kiss and be.
nzuri tu nje akosa lakini usiku anasusu wewe unaenda rais kuvumilia au masusu jamaa na, na unaamua hii ni tadil nayo amen haleluya na hamna mtoto lakini unatoa nje unaianika na una na una smile naambia baby bye anaenda job kini unajuanga usiku jamaa <laughs> iki tuziri hapo mwanza kwa sio rahisi unahitaji holy ghost anakupatia nguvu bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya hey. ukiona mtu amekaa kwa ndoa ukimwona mpigie makofi si rahisi bwana yesu asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe hey. you need hata ukiona mtu kuna kitu niliwaambia ngao watu ukiona pia mtu amejenga nyumba nyumba hata kama ni ya mabati wapendwa huyo mtu mpigie acha kusema sek nyumba kigani anajenga mpendwa jenga yako eh utashika adabu si rahisi unahitaji nguvu ambe mwanza kwa nguvu so you need the helper you cannot become a good wife without the holy ghost you need the holy ghost sir, to help you to help you bwana yesu asifiwe kaja bwana asifiwe semi wazee wanafanyanga hivyo hata wamama wanafanyanga amen lakini leo tuko na dili na wazee. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <laughs> Number two, he is our comforter. He is our what? Comforter. 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 He comforts us. Number eh sasa si jina magabi hapo. He is our he is the spirit of truth. Spirit of what? Truth. Hallelujah. Alafu ya mwisho he is our reminder and our teacher John chapter 14 verse 26 John chapter 14 verse 26 He is tufungulie hiyo he is our reminder and our teacher So if you want to become you need somebody who can remind you Wanaweza sivyo he can remind you what God said wakati unafika mahali umefika mambo imekataa he can remind you he can teach you You need to know how to treat your husband. You need how to live in your with, with your brothers and your sisters. You need to, you need to, you, you are looking for a way to live well with your boss, with your co-workers. You need the Holy Ghost. But the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Maana kwa wakati mtu anakaa miaka mirefu zikisonga, huwa wanafanya nini? Wanasahau. Mbele mzako watu usahau. For you to become, you must be put on check. Kuna watu wakinuliwa wanafika mahali wanasahau, ndio wanaanza kwa nguka chini. Wakati umesahau, ndio mwanzo wako umefika. Ulikuwa unaenda kanisani, ukabarikiwa kanisani ukasahau mpendo ukaanza kwenda nje sande ndio siku yako ya job sande ndio siku yako ya kwenda outing sande umechange siku ya Mungu imekuwa siku hiyo nyingine then you start going down niliwafunza nikawaambia uh, last year nikawaambia kama shetani anataka kupiga mwanadamu anampiganga kwa kusahau ambaye anaweza kwa kusahau <laughs> see Deuteronomy hata Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 see nasema tu vizuri Remember the Lord your God who gives you what power to make wealth. So when you forget him do you get power to make wealth? Nothing. But as was if you. Hata ndo mingi zimevunjika kwa sababu watu wamesahau. Wamesahau. Huyo mama alipokupata ulikuwa mshekee umekonda. Uko hivi. Saizi kuna vitu zimeongezeka. Sasa unamuita mjinga unasema hakuna kitu anaweza kuambia. Amen. Mama ule mzee kupata huko unajua kutembea straight hivi. Amen. Amekupata amekuonesha unaweza tembea hivi. Ulikuwa unatembea hivi tu. Sasa sasa hivi umejua kutembea unaanza kumwambia yeye ni bure. Umefanya nini? Umefanya nini? Umesahau. Eh. <laughs> Wanaweza wasifiwe. Hata kuna washirika wakibarikiwa, ananunua gari anasema, "Hakuna parking kwa hiyo kanisa. Wacha niende kanisa yenye iko na parking." Ila wakati ulikuwa una park, nini yako hii? Supu. 
Ili kuzako ulikuwa unapaki wapi hizo siku zingine? Bwana Yesu asiviwe. Hallelujah. Praise God. Atio hakuna security hapo. Sasa hakuna security. Sasa niko level nyingine. Ina kunga ni mademoni hiyo. Hiyo ni pepo. Wapendo hiyo ni pepo. Atio pastor, nimekaa nimesikia neema yangu ya hapa ni kama imeisha. Sasa na hisi roho ananielekeza mahali pengine. Ujinga. Kinga. Huyo roho si alifaa basi hiyo mara ya kwanza kuelekeze huko. Ana kungu saa hizi ndio ameanza kukuelekeza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hey, it's not a god of confusion. Kama alitaka kukuwa huko angekupeleka mara ya kwanza. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na hii sinema yangu. Ah, nashukuru mchungaji Naima yake imeisha na Mungu anamuelekeza aende kanisa fulani mahali juu kanisa ni kubwa kubwa iko na wadosi. Na siku yenye alikuja kwa kanisa hakuwa na pesa ya kulipa rent mzee wake hakuwa Because becoming we need to be taught. We need to be directed. Kaniza Bwana asifiwe. Now, listen to me when you receive the Holy Ghost, this is what you receive and I'm teaching as I finish. Now, you receive six pillars of power to become. Six what? Pillars of power to become. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Are you ready to receive them? Amen. One, wisdom. Okay, first let's read the Bible in the book of Isaiah chapter 11 verse 2 to 3. Isaiah chapter 11 2 to 3. These are the six pillars if you want to become. I've given you you need the Holy Ghost. Now when you receive the Holy Ghost you receive the gifts of the Holy Ghost. Now this is what I want you to get. Now the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might the spirit of knowledge and fear of the lord now number one you need what wisdom number two you need understanding number three you need what counsel or right judgment okay yes amen wisdom number two understanding number three right judgment Number four, courage. Courage. Number five, knowledge. Number six, fear of the Lord. Say fear of the Lord. Wisdom. When the Holy Ghost is upon you, you have this what we call wisdom. Ndio mtu ainuke kwa uwezo wa mtakatifu. Roho mtakatifu anaposhuka ndani yako anakupatia hekima na maarifa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mtu yote ambaye ako na wisdom hawezi kuwa maskini. Yeah, you had me right. You cannot be poor. Number two, you cannot be rejected. If you have wisdom, you cannot be rejected. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Listen to me in the book of uh, Second Chronicles chapter 1 verse 11 to 12. This is the man by the name Solomon. Alika chini akalia na akasema, Mungu wangu nipatie hekima. The man was wise to ask for wisdom. Alijua kipatiwa wisdom, utajiri alipatiwa. 
uwezo amepatiwa kibali amepatiwa oh kanisa bwana asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe when you have wisdom you have the ability the ability to have the right judgment to make right decisions kanisa bwana asifiwe na hii ndio kanisa inakosa tu kanisa bwana asifiwe you want to become hata mimi napenda mambo ya marriage kidogo amen si biblia inasema nini anaambia wazee eh sasawa nani kaeni na wanawake kwa njia ya nini hekima ya nini uwezi hey. bibi bila hekima ah ambie mwenzako hekima bwana yesu asifiwe awezi ongoza bila hekima awezi nuka bila hekima bwana yesu asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe akalia akasema nipatie hekima sikiza vile mungu mpaka anamwambia yote tusome tu yote let's read it Some, just go back Therefore wisdom and knowledge will be given to you and I will also give you wealth possessions and honor such as no king who was before you ever had or none after you will have Sikiza amemwambia nini nitakupatia hekima lakini nitakuongeza nini utajiri mali heshima yoyote amepote amepatiwa hekima anaweza kuwa chochote bwana yesu asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe hekima inasaidia watu kukaa juu hekima inasaidia watu kukaa pamoja ni hekima inaweka watu pamoja ni hekima inajenga in the book of proverbs chapter 24 verse 2 to 3 inasema e whoever wants to build by we build, by wisdom a house is built by wisdom can someone ask you say never by wisdom you are not talking say by wisdom say by wisdom this is what wisdom will do to you number one, it will elevate you say never it will elevate you in the book of uh, proverbs chapter 4 verse 7 to 8 it will elevate you hekima ndio itakuinua unataka kukaa kwa biashara hekima Unataka kuinuka katika chochote unafanya unahitaji hekima in the book of i believe in the book of james chapter 1 i believe verse 4 there inasema kwamba whoever lacks wisdom let him ask from the lord who will give it graciously the beginning of wisdom is this get wisdom get what get what uh, though it will cost all you have get what understanding eh the layer 8 8 cherish her kwa hivyo wisdom ni mwanamke amen cherish cherish and she will exalt you embrace her and she will honor you wisdom bwana yesu asifiwe uliza mwenda kwani unakuanga chini kuna kitu mmekosa hapo juu kaniza bwana asifiwe wisdom atakuinua atakuweka mali wisdom wisdom akona uwezo wa kukuinua embrace her she will elevate you ile ki inakusumbua si hata una maombi mingi ni hekima una kanisa bwana asifiwe ni hekima bwana yesu asifiwe haleluya watu washasikia nja haleluya wale wameshiba kiro haleluya haleluya times 2 haleluya times 3 amen <laughs> number 2 it will make you eat or dine with kings haleluya in the book of daniel chapter 1 verse 19 to 20 daniel na hii na pia kwa nyanya wanaandika amen the book of daniel chapter 1 19 to 20 chapter 1 19 to 20 it will give you ability to behave hapo ni daniel waliletwa mahali na mfalme wakawekewa chakula wa kule hii nilihubiri siku moja wednesday nikaeleza hii kitu amen ambaye ameweza ku wisdom alikuwa anaambia watu ndio vizuri kujange wednesday don't tawaambia leo hii ndio wednesday kuje bwana yesu asifiwe wisdom 
Watu wengine ah watu waliwekewa abu fungua tusome waliwekewa chakula mbele yao wakakula na baada ya kukula akasema mm, there's with us here the king talked with them and he found none equal to Daniel Hana uh, Mishael and Azaria so they entered the king's service eh uh-huh. continue 20 in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king questioned them he found them 10 times better than the magicians and now and a jew and a jew and a 18 18 18 at the end of the time set by the king to bring them into his service the chief official uh, present them like, okay maybe kwa nyuma kabisa inaonesha waliletwa amen wakawekewa chakula bwana yesu asifiwe the way they ate from there they were seen bwana yesu asifiwe si kuna watu hapo mshaenda unajua anga buffet ni buffet ama ni buffet simuongea wapendwa simsaidie pastor ama ashuke chini zai yetuaje Buffet. Okay, very good. Amen. Sasa msijali. Amen. Mimi naikulanga tu si taking majina yake lakini amen. Ukienda kwako wameka kuku, wameka nini nyingine? Nyama, wameka nini? Fish. Kwa nini unakulanga peke yako? Hakuna mtu anakulanga. <laughs> nini nyingine? Mahini. Si wame wamepanga, si ndio? Nani ashaenda mahali kama hapo? Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Hata mimi nishaienda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Sasa kuna hekima watu wajaijua ukienda upate chakula kama hizo zimepangwa unafaa ukule aje. Wamewekea watu tofauti. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini wewe kila mahali unachoka maragwe, mchele, mandazi, mokimo, chapo, nyama ya kuku, nyama ya mbuzi, nyama ya ngamia, samaki. Unaweka hivyo alafu unachukua unaweka kando. Unaweka kando unachukua sana nyingine siku kwa nyumba hii line line ni refu sana unaweka alafu chai juice haleluya bwana yesu asifiwe na nini coca cola baridi <laughs> na watu wanaangalia wanaona hakuna nini heki niwaambie wanafanya nini Ukiona imekuwa hizo vitu wanaeka mtu anachagua wewe kuna watu watumii nyama ya ngombe wanatumia nyama ya mbuzi ama ya kuku ama ya samaki sasa sawa so ime, unachukua kenye unaweza si zote zimewekwa lazima uchukue kitu bwana Yesu asifiwe kaniza bwana asifiwe kaniza bwana asifiwe haleluya nishaikuwa kwa kwa hiyo kitu ni kisawa amen ai jamaa awachi yote na mweke ongeza bwana ongeza na sasa imejaa ndio nataka kumwagika ongeza. Naambia bro, enda tu utakamia, utakuja round ya pili. Ongeza. Amekuja sura. Mimi mimi ni mtu wa Mungu sitaki vita. Amen. Nika. Paka anaishikilia anaishikilia hivi simwagike. Kaniza bwana asifiwe. Naambia mwenza kwa wisdom. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. It will give it will make you dine with kings. Wengine wetu ni chakula ilifanya tukose kazi. Ulienda dating na jamaa akaona vile unakula ni kama haujaona chakula miaka saba Kula hivi. Bako na inama hivi chini ndio umalizia malizia vizuri. Anashindwa kai. Kama huyu anakula na ni dating na tukiona na yeye atamalizia mpaka watoto. Huyu atakula mpaka destiny yetu. Kaniza bwana asifiwe. Kaniza bwana asifiwe. It will make you dine with what kings. Ukienda kwa mtu pitia mahali kula kwanza. Ukifika huko kula kido, kidogo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama unaona una pesa ya kukula, enda kunywa maji ijae. Amen. Ukifika huko kula kado, usibebe njae au shago kwenu unaleta kwa wenye Nairobi kila mtu anangangana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hii inaitwa nini? Wisdom. Inaitwa nini? Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Ah mimi najua nimesaidia mtu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Najua nimesaidia mtu. Haleluya. Hata kama ajesema amen, amesaidi, amesaidika. Unajua shida wanyo wamesaidika waonge yangi sare amen. Mwenye amenyamaza amesaidi. Kama umesaidika sema amen. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it make you dine with kings. You know how to eat. Ukitoa mkutano chakula imesawiwa mahali pale tafadhali ama chai ama soda ama juice umeletewa na uko kwa meeting inamaanisha anga hiyo meeting inafaa iishe na hiyo chai. Chai yako ifai kuisha before meeting. Hallelujah. Wewe unaingia pa 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 alabia. Eh kuna nyingine tafadhali nyongeza please so sabuko na Ah yeah yeah. welcome sir. You can enter there and take tea. Kuingia pale nikapata vikombe tatu lakini birika imejaa chai. Nikaonja kikombe moja nikasikia ah hii chai ni tamu sana. Haleluya. Nikaongeza ya pili. Amen. Ikakuwa tamu zaidi. Haleluya. Nikaongeza ya tatu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ikakuwa tamu sana. Nikaona si vizuri kuacha ya nne nikaongeza haleluya na juu iliendelea sana nikafika ya tano na nikaona imechoma haleluya kuangalia nikaona kumbe kamera ziko zinanitazama haleluya haleluya bwana Yesu asifiwe kwa hivyo ni wisdom haleluya haleluya hatukuwa itu huko tena bwana Yesu asifiwe ndio maana mimi ni pasta sasa haleluya <laughs> Labda sasa ningekuwa cameraman, ningekuwa journalist, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Eh, hey, ni kweli, ni katabia kabaya. Tumbo inaweza kuaibisha. Haleluya. Eh, hey, inaweza kuaibisha na ikupotezee kazi. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Watashindwa kama ni, ni chakula unakula hivi na pesa zao, so utakula na madharau sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Number three, it will make men look for you. Daniel chapter 5 verse 11. Men I'm asking mimi nakufunza ku become. Mimi sijakuja mhubiri I'm teaching you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Because in mwaka people must become. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Wisdom will make men look for you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. They will say I know a man. I know somebody. Huyu ni mtu anapatia na kijana wakati Nebuchadnezzar amekufa ndio huyu kijana wake akaka amejini a samani wakati Nebuchadnezzar aje si mfalme huyu kijana wake amechukua anaambiwa kulikuwa na jamaskiza anaambiwa nini there is a man in your kingdom who has the spirit of the holy gods in him the time of your father he was found to have insight and intelligence and wisdom like that of the gods your father king nabuchadnezzar appointed him chief of the magicians chief of what yani wisdom ni zaidi ya uganga he was alikuwa in charge ya magicians wisdom hey mungu atusaidie kai Nayo jina ngumu wote Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Si vizuri kujaibisha. Ukiona inakataa unaachana na atuko hapa English contest. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. <laughs> Haleluya. Amen. Haleluya. Ni wisdom. Hiyo ni wisdom. Hiyo <laughs> ni nini? Wisdom. Ukiona inakataa unaruka hiyo na hiyo pia. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Yuko mtu katika ufalme wako ambaye roho ya Mungu watakatifu inakaa ndani yake na katika siku za baba yako nuru na ufahamu na hekima zilionekana ndani yake na mfalme Nebukadineza baba yako na mfalme baba yako akamfanya kuwa mkuu wa waganga na wachawi na waka wakaldayo na wanajimu wisdom imagine wisdom Wisdom inafanya kings wanakutafuta. Men are looking for you even with doctors they will be under you. Sijasema nguvu za Mungu nimesema nini? Wisdom because you receive wisdom from God. When you have wisdom of God everything goes down and you come up. Receive the wisdom of God today. I say receive the wisdom of God. Receive the wisdom of God. Receive the wisdom of God. Let the witch doctors be down. Let them be, be, be below you. Let them be behind you. Can you bona sivyo? Number 3, wisdom will make you remain on top. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 14 to 15. Wisdom will make you remain on top. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni wisdom itafanya ndoa yako isimame. Ni wisdom itafanya kazi yako isimame. Ni wisdom itafanya biashara yako ikae juu. Ni wisdom itafanya huduma yako isimame. Ni wisdom. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi mwenzako ni wisdom. Ambaye mwenzako ni wisdom. Hallelujah. Sina mengi ya kuongeza na kuambia ni wisdom. Ambaye mwenzako wisdom. Ni zaidi ya uchawi. Auongee mwambie ni zaidi ya uchawi. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Haleluya. Ndio kitabu cha Papa binasema kwa inasema vizuri sana. Mwanamke mwenye heki, mwanamke mpumbavu ufanya nini? Uwa nyumba yake. Kwa nini? Lakini yule mwerevu Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Manake upumbavu ni mbaya kuliko uchawi. Na hekima ni nzuri kuliko uchawi. Oh, Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Sema baba nipatie hekima ya kuwa give me wisdom to become in Jesus name the reason why you are where you are something is lucky by the name wisdom you need to pray for wisdom that God will give you wisdom will make you rise from where you are something that will make men look for you something will make men remember you something that will make you sit on the top Hallelujah. Wakati huyu jamaa alipokea wisdom, ali akuhitaji kazi zingine. Watu walitoka mbali kusikiza anasema nini? Maana hekima ilikuwa ndani yake. Wapendo kama mwaka huu nataka upande juu. If you want to become anything, the first thing that you need is wisdom. If you want to build a house, wisdom. If you want to start a business, wisdom. Pray for the wisdom. You want to rise in your marriage, wisdom. You want to do wedding, wisdom. You want to lead your children Children, wisdom you need wisdom ingine yote ni extra by the help of the holy ghost when a man has wisdom everybody will follow that man you tell them this is the way they say yes sir yes madam why because there is wisdom huyu jamaa kupata wisdom kwa sababu alisoma alipata wisdom kwa kuomba kanisa bwana asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe Kanisa bwana asifiwe. You need wisdom. What is the problem in your marriage? You need wisdom. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Sengine nani bibi ukisikia ameongeaongea maneno hapo unajua hii inaleta vita. Amen. Unacheka na wambia I love you na unaenda. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ana baki anajiuliza nini imetendeka hapa? Ni nini? Bwana wewe uliishika kabla afanye nini? Unaona mzee hii mambo ameanza kuongeaongea hapa hii hii ni vita. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unaitoroka vizuri. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Alafu kuna mambo umekosa, ulifanya hivi na yule anambia, "Oh, I'm very sorry. I will not repeat again." What do you want to eat? Amen. Una smile unato. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Inaitwa nini? Wisdom. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Unaona huyu mtu wisdom ni kujua kenye inaenda. Uangalie mtu akikuwa tak, hauoni tu vita. Unaangalia after vita ni nini itafanya nini itatokea kanisa bwana asifiwe kanisa bwana asifiwe wakati mtu amekutusi unajua what is the next thing anataka nini anataka nimtusi pia na mimi kwa hivyo anapokutusi nyamaza muangalie na uende zako bwana yesu asifiwe wisdom if you want to become you need wisdom bwana yesu asifiwe wengine wamejaribiwa kuna mtu alikuwa anafanya interview yake interview yake ni kutesta sira yako na kuambia umekuja kufanya nini hapa Nataka nini na sisi? Naambia ah sorry nimekuja kazi. Hakuna kazi hapa. Na kwa nini mmeandika huko nje kuna interview jamaa akasirika na kwa nini mmeandika interview? Mnatuona sisi ni wajinga kaongea vitu mingi akamwambia enda kaenda. Mwingine akuja akaambiwa unataka nini hapa? Ah ni mwana good morning. Don't greet me. What do you want? Akasema I'm sorry I saw the newspaper there is interview and I came. Akaambiwa toka hapa hakuna kazi angalia kwanza vile unakaa sura mbaya wewe. Kambia, thank you sir god bless you na akae akaenda mwisho alipiga simu akaambiwa kuja kazi uli pass the interview interview watu walikuwa testiwa asira yao ukitukano unafanyanga nini kanisa bwana asifiwe si mimi niliandikwa kwa kazi ya supermarket hapo John Saga ponisho asifiwe haleluya nikiwa kijana praise god alafu jamaa akakuja kumbe ni rafiki ya mdosi na mimi sijui akakuja hapo akaniita mono wewe mono Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Okay, alikuwa anamaanisha nimekuwa mimi ni mgeni, sasa so, kaniita muone. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. 
Haleluya. Nikamupigia story vile nitamtandika, nitamgonga, nitamchapa. Bwana nikampea hiyo story taswira nzuri. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Na nikamwambia sije kuja hapa juu ya shida, niko na kisomo kizuri. Haleluya. So ushaji na mtu akijigamba. Haleluya. Hapa hata nimekuja kusaidia. Mhm. Kumbe ni rafiki ya nani? Ya mdosi. Amen. Usiku nilivutwa kazi na message Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Haleluya. Na huyo jamaa angeambia tuchapane angenichapa lakini mudomo 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 unajua kuna ambaye mwenza kwa mudomo ni mbaya Alishika mdomo wako sema mdomo wangu mdomo wangu kuwa na hekima hivyo nilipoteza kazi yangu Bwana Yesu asifiwe na wengi wetu tumepoteza kazi tumepoteza kazi kwa sababu tumekosa nini hekima watu wengi tumepoteza watu wazuri Mtu amekaa kando yako anasikia mimi unaongea anaona huyu ana hekima. Mpendo unapochazwa na roho wa Bwana, hekima unaanza kuipokea. Unajua mali ya kuongea mabaya wakati wa kuongea mazuri, wakati wa kucheka, wakati wa kutukucheka. Kanisa Bwana asifiwe. Ni vizuri pastor akiwa na example yake kuliko ya watu. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wisdom. Hello. Haleluya. It is my prayer today that you shall become what you want to become because you are receiving wisdom today. I say you are receiving wisdom. Simama kwa miguu yako. Say I'm receiving wisdom of God. I want you to pray a simple prayer and declare I want to become I receive wisdom by the help of the Holy Ghost. Just for just for one minute we are done. Just declare I'm receiving wisdom in my life. Wisdom of God in my marriage. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. Raise your voice, raise your voice somebody. Yakata la prabadi baladia, yakata la prosatia. Wisdom from above. Wisdom of the Holy Ghost. Wisdom of God. I'm receiving wisdom. I don't know what to do but I need wisdom. I want to I need wisdom. When we are born at that quick door, you need wisdom. Whatever you want to become, you need wisdom of God. Raise your voice for one minute and declare I'm receiving wisdom. Wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. In the name of Jesus. Receive the wisdom of God. Receive the wisdom. The wisdom to rise. The reason to rise. I wish you can pray better. I need wisdom. There is a level that I'm about to enter. The level of dining with the kings. The level of men looking for me. Wisdom. This is what I need. I need wisdom. I refuse to be stupid. I refuse to be a fool. I need the wisdom of God. The wisdom. The wisdom. In your marriage, pray. God give me wisdom. In my marriage, I need wisdom. The wisdom of God. In your children, you need wisdom. Wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. In that business, wisdom of God. In your ministry, wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. Wisdom of God. I want to become. This is the power. Power to become. Wisdom is power. Wisdom is power. Say, Father, I receive wisdom today in Jesus' name. Say, nothing will stagnate in my life in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. People zingine zinatolewa na mafunzo. I want you to go and look at your job, at your business. Are you applying wisdom or foolishness? Kenya na kukosanisha kwa ndoa yako, kwa watoto wako, kwa kazi yako, kwa biashara unafanya. I declare in the name of Jesus 
the wisdom of God that surpasses all human understanding upon your life by the help of the Holy Ghost. By the help of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I pray whatever you need in your life, receive it in Jesus' name. I say receive it in Jesus' name. Whatever you desire, receive it in Jesus' name. I say have it in Jesus name. Chochote kilinyanganywa kwenu pokea katika jina la Yesu. Cuz now you have wisdom of God. For now you have what? Wisdom of God by the help of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Let us hold our offering in the name of Jesus. Take your offering in the name of Jesus. Take your offering in the name of Jesus. Just hold it. We want to pray. We want to pray. Leko salabradias. In the name of Jesus. I, I thought we have praise and worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I wanted to prepare. Do you have your tithe? Amen. This is the first Sunday of the month. Amen. Amen. If you have your tithe. Kanisa hata miaka mbili lakini when you are not a tither mimi huwa najua wewe sio mmoja wetu najua anga umetutembelea for 2 years Bwana Yesu asifiwe ni vizuri na mkombali make sure you give your tithe pay bills iko pale give your tithe mwisho andika tithe bwana yesu asifiwe everybody if you are a member if you are a member make sure you give that is the pay bill iko hapo kwa screen please make sure you do the same bwana yesu asifiwe hallelujah uliza mwenza kwa are you a member or a visitor hallelujah bwana yesu asifiwe Amen. So tithe unatoka kwa kanisa yenyu. Amen. Kuna watu ambao wanaishi Nairobi lakini tithe zao wanapelekanga ushago. Amen. Hallelujah. Hiyo ni makosa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Mimi ndio pasta wako juu kwa Nairobi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ile siku tamia ushago, pelekea pasta huyo wa ushago. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hallelujah. Amen. Make sure you do the same. You do the same. Make sure you give Amen. It's very important for every church member to be what? A tither. Why? Because when you give tithe, unafanyanga pastor ajue anakuombea nini? Number one, anajua umeajiriwa, anajua kama uko na uwezo ama una uwezo. Kwa hivyo wakati pastor anaombea kanisa inuke, anajua anaombea nani na nani. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kanisa bwana asifiwe. Kila siku na kuangani, kwa kila wiki na kuangana siku nimetenga kwa sababu ya tithers. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Every tither is a kingdom partner. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kwa hivyo siku na waombea kwa majina. Na siwezi ombea wewe mwenye unatuanga na uandike jina yako. Kwa hivyo naomba wenye naona majina nataja kwa jina. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri. Amen. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Naongea kwa msisitizo ndio kila mtu ajue mbona ni vizuri kuwa tither. Amen. Let me pray for you. Kama ulituma Hii wiki kwa simu. Amen. Amo litumile wiki ingine kuja.
Amen. Come, I pray for you. Amen. Come. Amen. I pray for you. Amen. Amen. Let me pray for you. It's very important. Ukitoanga hata kwa simu nikisema tithers wakuje na hiyo siku umetoa kwa simu unakuja. Amen. Pata nafasi pale. Amen. Amen. Tuna mikono yetu mbele zao tuombe. Father, we thank you because of every tither. Lord, for making them kingdom partners, Lord. I declare your blessings upon their lives, Jehovah. You say, Lord, when they give, Lord, you shall rebuke the devourer. May you rebuke the devourer in their business, in their life, in whatever they are doing. And today, Lord, I stand as your prophet, Lord. Lord, I declare anything that has been stopping them to cease from today. Lord, I declare multiplication of their incomes in the name of Jesus. Because of their faithfulness, Lord, be faithful to them. Be faithful in their marriages, in their family, in their children, in their works. Whatever they are doing, Lord, may you make it increase in the name of of Jesus. Every demonic powers against titles of this church, I declare it has no power. I declare it powerless in the name of Jesus. Let your blessing be upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bring it. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you so much. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Let's all stand. Every of God. Let's all stand. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is there anybody that Adekua Akitoa tithe? Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. Because Anakazi. Amen. You are here. Lift up your hand. Amen. Jekuwa kitoa kwa sababu una kazi. Amen. Na unataka kazi. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Unajua unaweza kuwa utoi jua una kazi na hutaki kazi. Amen. And I declare now in the name of Jesus. Receive that job in the name of Jesus. Receive something for you to be a partaker of the kingdom too. In the name of Jesus. Receive the grace of God. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. So pigia bwana makofi mazuri. Amen. Let's all take our offerings. Amen. Just lift it up. Father, we thank you because of our offering. Lord, bless our lives. Lord, as we honor you with our substance, Lord, may you continue remembering us, continue blessings our, blessing our lives. Naombea hata wale hawana jehova ukawakumbuke na ukawatete na ukawalinde, ukawaridhishe mioyo zao kwa sababu ni Bwana na ni Yesu Kristo ni mama na kuamini. Amen. Amen. We can bring our offerings. In the name of Jesus, bring your offering. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hakuna, hakuna, hakuna. God bless you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Hakuna, God bless you. Hakuna, God bless you. Hakuna, hakuna, usilo. Hakuna, hakuna, hakuna. Hakuna, 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 usilo, weza, hakuna, amen. So pigia tu pana makofi mazuri, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. After the service, all the leaders kindly remain behind, pana iso sifiwe, hallelujah. Na hata wewe amba ungependa kuwa kiongozi, amen. Kuna ujumbe wako pia. Unaweza baki. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Lakini viongozi wote pia wabaki nyuma kutakuwa na mkutano wenu. Amen. Na pia wale wengine nitakuwa naongelesha pia kwa uwezo wa Mwenyezi Mungu. Amen. Mungu wabariki sana na Mungu wazidi kulinda. Wangapi wanapenda kanisa yao? 
Nione kwa ishara ya mikono. Amen. You love your church. Amen. Supigie bwana magofu mazuri. Amen. Amen. Nasi pia tunawapenda na tunapenda kanisa.